Hi there, it's Johnny Keeley here and welcome to the video. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a way to upload to Instagram without cropping the top and the bottom off and without white lines on each side. So this is how you can get your full image into Instagram without cropping it at all. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the App Store and download Snapseed. This is a very powerful free app. You, you may already have it, and we're gonna use it for this tutorial. So I'm just gonna budge over a bit, make room for the phone on the side here. Once you're in Snapseed, you're gonna to go to Open, and we're gonna open our image here. This is actually a stock image I got from a website. I put a link to the photographer in the description. I'm a landscape photographer, and I thought maybe if I showed a portrait, it would maybe apply to more people out there, so I just wanted to be super clear. So, just before we get started, we're gonna check the size of the image that we've got. We're gonna go to crop, and we can see that this is a three by two or a two by three. Um, Instagram is gonna crop it to a five by four, um, which is that size, which is not what we wanna do. We're gonna go back here and we're not gonna crop it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna expand these edges out. So if we go to tools, there's a little tool down here that is called expand. You can see it just in the middle here. It looks like a crop, but it is expand. Now what this is gonna be able to do is expand the left and right edge out, but you have to be careful. So for example, if I pull this all the way out, that side looks okay to me. Now if I pull this all the way out, it's messed it up, look. And now you can see on the right hand side, it's messed that one up too. So what you need to do, you need to take it in stages. So we're gonna go all the way back. And we're just gonna work our way out just a little bit here. Yeah, so you see, if you repeat the process a little bit, and now what I like to do doing this, now that looks good. It's not big enough yet, but I'm actually gonna click OK. And now I'm gonna go back to expand. If you keep doing it, it will keep trying to resample each edge and it will keep getting it wrong as you go further out. I do it this way because it saves it every time. Okay, so we are getting a few little lines, but trust me, we're gonna fix that. So you just keep working on it like this. See, we're getting a little line in the bottom left there. Um, we're almost there. We just want to bring that, that left-hand side. I'm going to hit save. I'm just going to go one more time. Okay, go expand, and we're just going to edge that out again. Remember, every time, there we go. That's pretty good. Okay, there are a few little artifacts, but that's pretty good, and that's pretty much got us to our 4x5. Let's go to tools, crop. We're just going to check it again, 5x3, uh, 4x5. Yeah, that's basically it. We're a little bit over, actually. So that's cool. We're not going to crop it, though. Not yet. See in this edge here, see these flowers in the bottom right? They're looking like they've been repeated, and there are a few little lines. So what you want to do, go to Tools and hit the Healing tool. Now you pinch to zoom in. Now I'm just going to sort of muddle that up a little bit so it just looks a little bit different. That's sort of cloning it out a bit. That down there looks like it's been repeated to me. Now that, to me, now looks less repeated. Maybe there a little bit. Yeah. I can see it feels a bit funny, but it won't be noticeable to the eye. Now you can see just up here, in this section here, there are lines. So I'm just going to sort of, again, muddle that up a little tiny bit. Just apply a little bit of healing to it. Just sort of messes up those straight lines. And there are a few down the bottom here as well. Again, it's not, it's not a big deal, but that didn't work. It's not a big deal. But what we just want to do is just mess up the lines just a little bit. Now that's done, that's fine. Um, now to my eye, now, maybe at the top left and the top right a little bit. So we're going to go up to the top right. Again, we're going to go back to healing. See up here? It looks a little bit repeated. That looks okay to me. There's a rep repetition there as well. So we're just going to fix that one. Cool. So what I'm doing is I'm just sort of being a little bit chaotic and sometimes I'm having to undo it. But what that means is that it actually is random. Again, down here, just a little bit. We just want to get some of that there. So now that's done, that, that looks okay to me. So this picture is the right kind of photo to be doing this with. Uh, if you took your image with portrait mode, you're going to get this blur effect in the background. In photography, we call it bokeh. Uh, and this is the effect of a fast lens and a shallow depth of field, but also on a phone these days, portrait mode. If you have complicated lines in the background, it's gonna be much harder to do this, but it's not impossible. It just depends how much time you're willing to spend on it. My image is fine. I'm gonna hit export and I'm going to save a copy. 
So now that is saved onto my phone and that is ready to go up to Instagram and we haven't removed any of the photo. We've added to it and we don't have white lines down the side. I really hope you found that useful. If you did, hit the like button. Now, whether or not this works for you is very dependent on the background in your photo. If, for example, the person is taking up the whole screen with their arms, it's gonna be much more difficult because you're gonna to have to expand their arms out and it won't look natural. Or if the background has some very complicated uh, geometry, like, for example, a chain link fence or something like that, it is, again, gonna be much more difficult. The best thing you can do, and I know you don't want to hear this, but the best thing that you can do is just try to remember every time that you're shooting to shoot for that four by five on Instagram. If this didn't work for you, I do have a Photoshop technique video coming up, which will definitely work for you. But unfortunately you would have to use Photoshop. So have a few other videos on how to crop properly for Instagram and a few engagement tips as well. If you wanna check those out, I'll put them on the screen right now. If you wanna hit the little round one in the middle and subscribe to my channel, I will see you in the next video.